Hello there. Welcome to Cabbage Patch Soap. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Laura and today I am doing a very special collab video. We made soaps inspired by TV shows. I'll put the names of the other participants here on the screen and I will also link their channels down below. Be sure to check them out and see the videos that they made. So I decided to make a soap inspired by the show My Little Pony, which is a show I used to watch as a kid a long time ago. And I chose Gusty as the pony to base the soap after. Uh, I chose this one because of her theme. She has the maple leaves on her and I thought it would be cute for uh, the fall time. And I also wanted to frame the soap as if it were in one of those old-fashioned TVs that have the wood frame around it. So this was my inspiration for the collab video. Here are the colors that I'll be using. I have Maya Gold from Nurture Soap and I will also be using Star Showers from Nurture Soap. The other two colors are Titanium Dioxide and Brown Oxide. So here's the light water going in. And I want to mention that this method I'm going to use for the wood grain, for the wood wrapped TV, is a method I found on Cheeky Goat Soapery's channel. I will leave a link to her channel. Um, there's the fragrance going in. And um, the way that she did her wood grain pour was a little bit unique and she included the gold which I thought looked really really nice and it gave kind of a little bit of a magical feel. Um, the pony Gusty has a horn because she's a unicorn and I was trying to figure out a way to add something a little bit magical to the design and that was perfect. So I highly recommend checking out her video on the wood grain pour to see how she did it. And this is the titanium dioxide going in. And then here is the brown oxide. And this fragrance that I chose, I wanted something that would match. I don't, I don't have obviously like a My Little Pony scent. Um, and I'm not sure what that would smell like anyway. But the Star Showers has a very happy, um, bright scent to it. It's hard to describe. I really like the way it smells though. Um, and I imagine it would smell just as good to an adult as it would to a child. Since this is a children's show, I wanted something that would be appealing to children. Um, or what I imagine a child would like. And I think as a kid, this is a fragrance I would have, I would have enjoyed. Um, so that was my inspiration with the fragrance. And then here I am doing the grain, the wood grain pour. What I'm doing with this gold is I'm going to be layering it in liquid form. So instead of mixing it with the batter, I've mixed it with a little bit of oil and I'm going to add this in just like I would as if it were the, the wood grain pour. So just pouring it down the side just like I did with the batter and then layering back on the batter on top of it. And I'll alternate back and forth with this. And I'm also going to speed up the video because this took a very long time and I don't think you want to see this in real time. But basically that gold is just going to add some nice streaks of gold through the wood grain, which actually I think it makes it look a little bit more natural, but it also has that shimmery magical effect that I was looking for. And then as I go down the side, I just lower the mold that I had propped up there until it's laying flat and hopefully this will retain all of the stripes in the soap. And I'm just finishing up the last bit here. And they're just going to clean up the sides. And tap out any air bubbles. And here is the soap up close. So far, so good.
and we'll just come back a day later and slice this into bars. So here we are a day later and I had to be really careful about how I cut this. I needed to make sure that when the soap was viewed from the front you would see the stripes. So I'm cutting this I think differently than most people would for a wood grain soap because I need the narrow edge to have the grain rather than the broad side of it if that makes sense. So here it is from the side. You can see how cool that looks um, but it is not what most people would consider a wood grain because the cut is going the wrong way. And I'll show you why I did that. Hopefully it'll be clear later on when I assemble the soap. And then of course here are the two end pieces. We're just gonna set these aside for later because I have to cut them again. So I'm placing these back on my soap cutter. The reason I use a soap cutter is because I cannot make straight cuts with a knife. I have tried many times and I don't think I ever got my bars uh, to be straight. So especially when I'm doing something that requires a little precision like this cut is very important for me to use a soap cutter. So here we go. I'm going to slice these bars in half again so that we have narrow pieces. And as you can see they look pretty much the same as before. They're just half the size. Alright, and here is the look I'm going for with the wood grain around the, the picture on the TV. Gusty's colors are white, this green, and then this pinky red, and her little maple leaves are purple. So these are the colors I came up with. I have a green oxide, and then I have a titanium dioxide, and also rapture pink mixed with trial by fire. But I do not have the container for the my rapture pink anymore. Both of those colors can be found at Nurture Soap. And I will provide a link down below where you can find their products. I do have an affiliate link, so it helps me out if you use my link, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. And I will show you the um, Trial by Fire, which is the one package I do have. So that's what it looks like. It's just a tiny bit mixed with the Rapture Pink to give it a, a deeper color. And then again, I'm going to be using the Star Showers because it really does have a nice... I guess it also has a magical smell to it. It's hard to describe, but it's very, very nice. And this is the lye water going in. And this is me just stick blending it together. And on the edge of the container there was just some oil that didn't melt fully, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to put in the fragrance. And I'm trying not to overwork this because I do need it to stay uh, fluid for a little bit. I'm not doing as intricate as the design is before, but I want this to stay, uh, stay fluid. Also, I'm going to be adding very little of these colors. So I'm going to be mixing them up straight out of these little pots. And these little containers I use are biodegradable and reusable. And I'm just going to use my little mini whisk here to whisk these up. This is a very handy little instrument. And now I'm just mixing up the pinky red color. So here's the white going in. This is going to be the main body of the soap. And here is what I've done with the wood samples or the wood slices. They are on the bottom and the sides of the mold. 
I'm going to fill this up. I'm going to start with a little bit of the white and then add some of the green and the pink for her mane and tail. And then layer on some white again. For her purple maple leaves, I decided to make some soap clay, um, these little sticks that I made out of the clay extruder. Since I don't have an actual maple leaf shape, these are the clover shapes, which was the closest thing I had. But I think it will look really cute. So I'm just going to add these periodically as I fill up the mold. I'm also filling this to the very top because one of my concerns was that I would end up with um, air pockets between the soap batter and the top layer of the wood wrap that I'm going to add. And so what I'm doing is filling this all the way to the top and then my plan is to squish out extra soap batter and my hope is that when the extra comes out from the top it will take with it any air bubbles. And I'll show you that process as well when we come to it. So I'm just putting in the last few of these maple leaves. And then the rest of the soap. I'm going to tap this out. Again, trying to get out any air bubbles. And I'm just making sure that those wood frames are pushed all the way to the side. And now I have this piece of uh, wood grain soap that I'm going to add to the top. And I realized that I did put a little bit more than I intended, so I'm going to go ahead and scrape some of this out. And it's still over full, which is what I wanted, because I wanted to squish out the extra and hopefully carry with it any air bubbles. And so here I am just slowly pushing down on one side, because I want it to all go one direction so that hopefully again any air bubbles will get squished out. So I'm starting to line all that up and um, squish it out. You'll see here in just a moment. Okay so here I am squishing out the extra soap batter. And then I'll just clean this up. So that was to, as I said before, to make sure there were no air bubbles in the top. Because of course I can't tap out the air bubbles here. So this is a close up of the finished soap. I will just wait until tomorrow to cut this. And so here we have this wood wrapped TV screen. I'm just going to cut this down into bars. And here's the first bar. So you can see how it has the wood green. Since I cut it the other direction, you can see the green in the wood going all the way around. And we have the white for the pony and the green and reddish pink for her hair and the purple maple leaves. And I was so pleased to see there were no air bubbles, which is what I was the most afraid of. The wood green uh, wrap around is a little bit uh, not perfectly square, so I am going to be using my planer to get those sides completely flat so that they will look, pro look correct. And you'll see that in a minute here. So here I am just planing the soaps down so that they're smooth. This will also get off any of that extra soap batter that spilled out that I wasn't able to clean off initially. And that little bottle has rubbing alcohol, which is helping the bars uh, slide across the planer without, uh, without dragging. And these look much, much better after being planed. And you can see the little pile of soap scraps that I've made there. 
one of the fun things that you get from planning your soap are these little soap papers. Really thin shavings of soap that look really cool. I thought I'd show you those since I had them there. And here are the finished bars of soap. I stamped them with a rainbow because in the My Little Pony opening theme song they have a rainbow there. So I thought that would be cute to put on the front. I hope you enjoyed this collab video which was very different from what I usually do. Please consider checking out the other channels as well and looking at their videos of the TV shows that uh, they made soaps that they were inspired by. And here's some pictures of the wood grain. And also please check out the Cheeky Goat Soapery and see how she did her wood grain pour. It's a really wonderful video. Please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. And please leave any comments down below of any videos you'd like to see me make. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And once again, here are the names of the other YouTubers. I will also leave a link down in the description. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.